Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very different video. It's not going to be back brace related, so it's going to be very different. But yeah, basically I'm going to be doing a vlog type video of uh, a day in the life in quarantine, I guess. So this is not only going to be a vlog, there's also going to be a lot of organization tips. So how to stay organized during quarantine, you know, how to not procrastinate, etc, etc. Um, I'm very tired right now, it's like currently 7am, so <laughs> hence the very tired looking face, um, but yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and yeah. So currently it's, uh, let me check, it's 7am, so it's 7.15am right now. So that's my first tip of how to organize yourself during quarantining, and that is to still wake up pretty early. Um, normally I wake up at 6am on normal non-quarantining school days but uh, I didn't really want to wake up that early but I still wake up like pretty early so 7 a.m. is pretty early. It's really important to wake up early because you don't want to like start your day too late um, doing your work. I'm sorry my like throat is like completely broken right now. I have a really bad morning voice. It's just really important to like stay in schedule. See you right after. guys so it's been a hot minute since i last filmed it's currently 8 33 right now i have class um in 30 minutes our school has zoom calls we do like a zoom call every like one to two hours i think uh, normally we have like three hours a day honestly and right now i have english normally um i finish getting ready at around 8 40 ish a little early today because i knew i was gonna film this vlog right now i'm basically gonna just organize my day i have a planner and um, I normally like organize my day on the planner. So that is my uh, second tip of the day is to organize your day really precisely. I have like a little schedule. Uh, so I estimate how much time it takes for me to like do a specific task. So for example, for really short uh, homework. So I normally like put on my schedule that takes me 20 to 30 minutes. And then if I have a huge English project, for example, I'll say like that takes me like an hour today and then I'll do another hour tomorrow. And I also kind of color code my planner. So basically blue is like all the homework that I have to do and red is like all the actual classes that I have. And so once I have my whole planner scheduled out, um, I'm fr I first I kind of check my emails, my school emails, see if my school uh, sends any emails or any teachers sent any updates about my homework. I will also check my grades. And this is about the time when I actually start doing my homework. So I have class in like six minutes. So I'm gonna do like little tiny homework until my class starts, but yeah. Okay, so my class is gonna start in a minute, so I'm gonna log in uh, into my class and see you guys in an hour. Hi guys, so it's been like around two hours since I last filmed this. Um, and basically I had my English class and my French class, they both went pretty well. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, I have a little cat here that's kind of chilling. <laughs> He's a very good boy and uh, very tired, I think. On my planner, I said that I would normally work on my Spanish at this hour, so that's what I'm gonna do. I will, I guess, update you guys in an hour or so when I eat lunch.
So after lunch, I decided to continue working. So as you can see, I'm using Quizlet to learn everything I need to know for my history essay. I'm using the like game setting for Quizlet. I don't know what it's called, but like it's basically where you match up the definitions and the terms. And I just really recommend it because personally, I really don't like history, but this way of learning actually really helped because it was more fun. So I don't know, this is my little recommendation. So after doing some homework, I go for a walk for about like 40 minutes or so. So that's actually my third tip and that is to go out every single day because during quarantine you might find yourself like staying inside for the whole day uh, either doing nothing or just work and it's definitely not healthy to just be staying inside every single day so i really recommend to just go out every day for at least 40 minutes or so and to go out like for a walk or for a run and i walk with my mom every day um, but sometimes i also walk with my whole family so sometimes i walk with my dad and my brother that's also another recommendation to, to walk with your family because it's definitely more fun to walk with your family than alone. So the next thing I do is my workouts slash stretching slash dance. I do ab exercises, arm exercises, stretching, and some balance exercises, which is pretty much just dance. And I do this every single day um, for like about 40 minutes to an hour, it depends. I've been doing this for the past month and a half, I think. I'm finally starting to see some progress, which I'm really happy about. I'm definitely going to be making a video about my progress with my flexibility and my balance and everything, but um, I didn't want to do it in this video because it would be too long. So I'm definitely going to post that video in maybe a couple of months or so um, once I start seeing some more progress. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. So I'll hopefully be able to post my workouts slash stretching slash dance routine um, in a couple of weeks or so. It should be ready in two weeks, um, so I'll post my full routine there so that way I, I don't make this video too long. And this video isn't really about my uh, stretching routine. I really want to make a whole video about it, so see you guys in two weeks for that one. Hey guys, so I also forgot to add that I edit um, my videos normally around the time I finish stretching and I normally edit uh, outside and I actually had the footage but my camera ran out of battery so I don't have that anymore but yeah I just wanted to put it in there that that is also part of my routine uh, but yeah that is the end of the video I really hope you guys enjoyed this but yeah I know that it's a really different video that I normally make but you know with the quarantine and everything I wanted to make a video kind of about that I didn't really want to ignore the situation but yeah stay tuned for my next video which will be a, a stretching routine a in-depth stretching routine where I explain you know all of the different things that I do to, to improve in my flexibility um, which I have already seen a lot of progress so i'm really happy about that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video so if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified for my new videos and yeah bye